Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Voice Tag Gallery, which also comes bundled with an app called Voice Tag Camera. But I'm going to focus mostly on the Voice Tag Gallery app. Right before I get to that, I do want to remind you that this review is sponsored in part by AndyTags.com. Andy Tags is a really great website, good place to get NFC tags, NFC stickers, watch NFC tutorials, and find out all about NFC on your Android phone. So head over to AndyTags.com after the review and check them out over there. So Voice Tag Gallery. Uh, voice assistants are all the rage right now, and everybody knows you can go into even just Google Now, or probably just about any voice assistant, and say, search for an image of a dog and it'll pull up a bunch of images of dogs on the internet for you. But what about your own gallery? What about when you want to find that picture that you took of your dog back in November? Or maybe a picture with you and your girlfriend or your boyfriend and uh, you remember the place you were at but you can't remember exactly when it was because it was like a year or two ago and you've got a thousand pictures on your phone and you're trying to find it. What do you do? This app answers that question. It allows you to tag um, every photo in your gallery. They're automatically tagged based on the uh, when they were taken, the month and the year they were taken. Um, but then you can also add additional tags to help you find them easier. And then when you want to find something, you just open the gallery, tap the mic, and say the name of the tag you're looking for, or say the uh, month, or the year, whatever you want to use, and it'll bring up all the photos that match what you said. So pretty cool, um, great way to find th find pictures on your phone fast without having to sit there and go through every photo on your phone, which is what we normally do when we're looking for a specific photo. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to head over to my phone uh, so I can show you how this really cool app works and why it's definitely something you should pick up. So here on my phone and right here you see voice tag gallery and next to it voice tag camera. So let's open voice tag gallery up. Voice tag pro, say it, find it. So here we are on my phone, it's loading the gallery now. So here we are in my photo gallery. So let's say I want to uh, find a picture of my mom. Mom. And here we go. Here are pictures that have mom tagged in them. There's mom at the zoo, my mom and dad at Queen Mary, mom and dad at the beach. So what if I want to find pictures from, let's say, September of 2012. September 2012. Now it's pulling up all the pictures from September of 2012. If you can't tell, I went to Universal Orlando to the Harry Potter Kingdom in September of 2012. So, and otherwise to find these pictures, I'd have to scan through, you know, all my pictures. And because it was September, they'd probably be way buried in all of my pictures. But I can just use that uh, date. I know I was there in September 2012, and it pulls these pictures up. Now let's do another one. Uh, dad. So, this pulled up the same two pictures before because mom and dad are both tagged in these. It also pulled up uh, dad at the zoo. But let's say I just wanted specifically one that had uh, dad and uh, uh, only ones that had dad and mom mom and dad. When I say that, it pulls up just the pictures that have them both. So uh, it's really great because you can just use one word and find, like I could just use mom and find all pictures with mom, but if I specifically wanted pictures that had mom and dad both tagged, then I could do that. Or I could say dad 
zoo. And there we have the picture that has dad and zoo both in it, but not the other pictures of my dad, only the ones that have dad and zoo tagged in it. So it's a very uh, effective way to find what you're looking for. Um, if you uh, geotag your pictures, you can also use place. And that's where the uh, camera app comes in. Uh, let's get out of this real quick and open voice tag camera. Uh, voice tag camera basically uses your, your, your built-in camera. Um, but what it allows you to do, it will um, geotag uh, things for you. Uh, you have a little plus button right here. Um, you can take a picture and then click plus and then also immediately add a tag to it after you've taken the picture. Um, I don't always use the built-in camera. Uh, I use a lot of other third-party camera apps that you've probably seen reviewed. So I probably won't use that camera app. I will probably be more likely to use, uh, uh, to take the pictures and then tag them. Dog. So there's a picture of my dog. So uh, you can tag it by, you can say last January. And it's going to pull up all the pictures that were taken in the month of January. If you're wondering why I have so many pictures of me, it's because I'm using them for real estate for my business card. January 2011. I don't know if I have any pictures from January 2011. Well, apparently I do. So, there you go. I do have pictures from January 2011. So that's, it's a great way to find pictures. Um, you still have your typical things of share and delete. Um, if you go into settings, there's a lot of different things you can uh, uh, change geotagging. Uh, you can lock tag photos, uh, when to listen. So you can have it uh, listen when you tap the mic button. Uh, or anytime if you're uh, looking at an untagged photo that's that's not locked. Uh, when to save a tag, save a tag when gallery closes, mark tagged photos, mark untagged photos, speech options enabled, delete old tag when editing a tag, reset to default, reset to custom. So let me show you how you tag a picture. Oops. I'm going to open this picture right here. So it has no tags right now other than the date because it knows what date it was taken. But I can add a tag simply by tapping the mic. Monument. San. So I got monument. Uh, and I want to add a tag. San Diego. So now I added monument and San Diego. Uh, I could do another one. Blue skies. Now in the uh, free version of this, you're limited to two tags, uh, but the pro version is so really cheap and when you go to pro version, you can uh, uh, have as many tags as you want. So I could find this picture now by saying any of these keywords, um, which is awesome. Uh, of course, again, you have a standard gallery uh, button here where you can push play to do like a slideshow of the gallery uh, if you want to. And when you have a picture open, uh, you can change the filter, you can set as wallpaper, you can go to settings, details, uh, anything that you uh, would expect to have in a gallery you have here. But what's awesome is how easy it is to find a picture. So now if I clear all that and I say San Diego. It finds that picture for me right away. So uh, makes it really easy uh, to find the pictures that you're looking for. Uh, just really, really cool. Uh, and you can go over here to this menu, uh, and this is you can get into settings, you can get into locations, dates, and you can just look at all the different tags you have. See all the tags that you have on a particular uh, uh, 
uh, photo. And if you tap that tag, it's the same as using the mic to say that tag. Um, so again, another, uh, just another way where you can go through and, and find something uh, fairly easily. Um, and the first, it's obviously in alphabetical order based on whatever that first tag is. So really a uh, easy way to find uh, different things. So there's my dog trying to climb over the seat, but she's really tired. So anyway, a uh, really cool way to find uh, pictures, mom and dad. Get to exactly the picture you want to. Um, and there's some updates that are going to be here soon. Uh, for example, uh, they're going to be updating it so that you could say mom or dad. And then it would bring up every picture in your album that had mom as a tag, as well as every picture that had dad as a tag. Um, so you wouldn't have just ones that have both, but you'd have every picture with mom and every picture with dad. Um, also, there's going to be work on integration with Tasker, which would be great because then you could use a, a voice assistant either directly from Tasker or using a... Uh, auto voice or any other voice assistant that passes variables into Tasker and you could without even being in this album you could just say uh, find pics of mom and dad and it would open this and find those pics automatically. The, that's not there yet but I know that is in the works um, uh, down the line uh, from the developer so very cool options definitely the the easiest way to find the pictures you're looking for on your phone. That was voice tag gallery and voice tag camera. Now you gotta admit, that is a pretty awesome app. Um, it just makes it so much easier to find pictures on your phone. Uh, Cause you know, we're all snapping tons of pictures and when we want to find a specific picture that we maybe took six months ago or a year ago amongst a thousand pictures on our phone, it's impossible. But with voice tag gallery, uh, you can tag those photos so that you can find them really easy based on a specific tag or even if you didn't take time to tag them you can look for photos taken from a specific time just by stating the name. So it works really great. Um, I love it and also the uh, you know it's going to just get better because there's a few other features that are going to be um, implemented in the near future um, which are just going to really take it over the top. So great app, the uh, basic app you can download for free from Google Play and then you can upgrade to the pro version for not much money at all and definitely well worth it. So check it out. That is it for this review. If you like this review, please click the like button. Share this review with everyone you know because everybody has a phone and everybody has pictures on their phone. So everybody can use this app. So please share the video with everyone you know on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Reddit, Google+, Plus, all those fun ways are down there. Check out my uh, uh, channel for other Android app reviews as well as Tasker tutorials, NFC tutorials, and product reviews. Subscribe, favorite playlist, whatever you want to do to keep up with the videos you want to keep up with. Anyway, that is it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.